Welcome back to our Saving the California Dream special with series producer Heidi Kuda. Many of the same issues crippling our state are also dogging us at the federal level and in our own city hall. Some political hopefuls say we've tried it with the government guys. Now they're asking for their shot. It's sort of the whole circuit all these career politicians are on, right? Let's make a promise to you, keep you happy today. The bill comes due two years after I've left office. They don't get it in part because there are very few people in elected office who've had real life experience. They've just been in a series of elected offices making a bunch of promises, trying to move on to the next office before the promise comes home to roost. We've got to change things and change things fast. We've got to sit down and figure it out. It's not unsolvable. The partisanship, both the federal and state, is just so demoralizing. People are so fed up with the extremes. Only about 16% of the things that we buy and the contracts we enter into are with businesses that are in the city of Los Angeles. That's crazy. Imagine $60 million of cars that we recently bought and we didn't buy a single one of them from a dealer in Los Angeles. Shouldn't somebody be fired over that? Shouldn't that be something that really raises a huge red flag? There was nobody who actually picked up the phone and said, hey, we need a bunch of cars. You want to bid on them? It's a matter of leadership or lack thereof. I can think of at least three dealers that would have loved to have had that contract. <laughs> right. Among the voices you just heard from was attorney Ron Galfron, who's chaired LA's Committee on Revenue Efficiency. He's running for city controller. Ron is here with us, as is our state controller, John Chung. So you, know, you can run this efficiency committee, but everything you look at is so inefficient. <laughs> I mean, where do we start? Well, there are a lot of places to start. It's a big mess in the city when it comes to the finances, but there are some real solutions. You look at the billions of dollars that we spend every year in goods and services, and we can do it a lot better and save ourselves potentially hundreds of millions of dollars in the way that we do it. You look at the vast assets that the city has. While we've got potholes all over Los Angeles, we also own two asphalt plants, have an ownership interest in a third, and they're only operating at 50% capacity. We can be selling asphalt to other cities and other governments, covering our costs, and filling more of our own potholes in the process. And, and tell our viewers the, the reports that you released, the total savings that we could actually have right now if we started to implement some of your ideas. Yeah, the uh, Commission on Revenue Efficiency uh, has issued a series of reports. Our first one was about uh, collections in the city and an opportunity to do $100 million a year better in the way that we collect, and also to make it easier for people to pay. Try getting a dog license in the city of Los Angeles. It took me three hours to do that. And we can make it much easier and then get more money. But also, when you look at the opportunities for the uh, savings that we can do just in the way that we purchase, when you look at our business licensing, when you look at the way that we make it so tough for to do a business in Los Angeles, if we make it just a little bit easier, we're going to realize a lot more money. But yeah. government has just continued to grow and grow and grow and grow. And, it's, and as big as it gets, it becomes more and more inefficient. So to start off, let's start off with the, the, car, the car buying thing. Why, why couldn't we just get, why, why wouldn't that idea get picked up and somebody say, oh yeah, we should probably buy our cars next time at an L.A. dealer? Well, there's been a lot of talk about that, actually. And there was a, uh, a motion that came before the city council to do just that. But it was done in such a way that it's not really going to be, unfortunately, very effective. But just some common sense. What do you mean sense. by that? I'm not sure I understand that. Well, actually, they limited it in so many different ways that uh, when it comes to the cars that get purchased. It has purchased, to be at a car lot that has a green light in front of a, a poster of a what? I mean, it's, this is Almost ridiculous. that bad. Yeah. Almost that bad. John, does any of this resonate to you when you hear this? It does. I spoke at a, a physician's conference in Anaheim earlier today, and we had a, an individual who came up to me and said, I just moved here, got married. Uh, wanted to get my medical license and it took me a year to get the medical license here in the state of California. I want to engage in business. I want to provide health care. We have to be much more efficient and effective in terms of the way we handle regulations and permitting. Anybody, are you going to plan to run for governor at some point? Is, is that in the cards? Uh, I, I love what I do. <laughs> All right, great. Good answer. <laughs> he Excellent. loves what he does, so we can do it some more. Our state, uh, our state's a union state, you know that, but check out what happened when one local business, in order to stay in business, made the tough decision to go non-union. If you can't take a few belly punches, stay out of this business. 